We've talked a lot about the free status effect, setting enemies on fire, and electrocuting them on the channel, with a bunch of different builds taking advantage of these statuses. But what we haven't really talked about is the fear status effect, and how it might be one of the strongest status effects in Deep Rock Galactic. For those of you new to the game, or finding yourself taking too much damage because you can't aim well, your positioning traps you with a swarm of enemies, or you can't kite away from enemies' melee attacks, the power of fear is going to instantly change your survivability in Deep Rock Galactic. Hi guys, I'm Leech and Listen. This channel is about helping you enjoy your games more. If you want to enjoy your games more, subscribe to the channel because a bunch of builds are coming out in the next couple days specifically using the power of fear. In this video, I want to explain what the fear status effect is, why it's so powerful, and hopefully get you thinking about using fear in your builds and your gameplay. If you want infographics of every single build I've made, my Instagram linked below has images that show you the exact builds to run. So what does the fear status effect do? When an enemy gets feared, it immediately moves 10 meters away from whatever inflicted the fear. It won't attack while it's doing this pathing, and usually fear will interrupt their attack before they finish casting it. Like when a Praetorian uses its acid spray attack, any enemy that's under fear remains in this state until they reach that 10 meter marker away from whatever gave them the fear. That means this status effect doesn't have a universal timer like on fire or electrocution, it'll last as long or as quickly as it takes for the enemy to get to that 10 meters. In lower hazard levels, fear lasts longer than in higher hazard levels because enemies move more slowly, even though enemies under fear always move about 150% faster. For those of you that have watched some of the electrocution status builds on the channel, I bet you just realized how powerful combining fear and electrocution is going to be. Everyone else Else, what the electrocution effect does is it slows down enemies by 80%. Now, enemies are going to move a lot slower while pathing, and fear's effect lasts longer because it'll take the enemy longer to get to that 10 meters. This doesn't just combo with electrocution. Any stun, any freeze, or any other effect that immobilizes an enemy will continue the fear status when the enemy comes out of the stun. If you inflict fear on an enemy and then you freeze it before it reaches that 10 meter distance, when it's unfrozen, it'll still be feared and continue pathing away from you. The next couple build videos on the channel are going to show off this insane combo for some very powerful crowd control. There are some limitations to fear. Almost all enemies have a base resistance to fear. For web and acid spitters, they have a 30% resistance. Grunts, guards, slashers, and praetorians have a 50% resistance. Menace have a 70% resistance and detonators, dreadnoughts, and oppressors are completely immune to fear. The actual percent chance of you fearing an enemy is taking the fear chance percentage and subtracting the enemy's fear resistance. So if the jury rig boomstick has a 50% chance to fear, you'd then subtract the 30% resistance grunts have so it's actually a 20% chance. Of course, because there needs to be exceptions to the enemies that are exceptions to fear, there's a couple things that will still fear enemies that are normally immune, field medic revives, see you in hell explosions, and Bosco revives will always fear, no matter the enemy. So what are the ways that you can inflict fear, no matter what class you like to play? For scouts, there's only two ways currently in the game. On the M1000 Classic, there's a mod in Tier 5 called Precision Terror that has a 100% chance of inflicting fear on any enemy within 3 0.5 meters of one that you killed with a focus shot to the weak point. Charge up a focus shot, shoot it into the face of that grunt in the middle of a pack of enemies, and anything within 3.5 meters of that grunt you killed will probably get feared. The second way is on the jury rigged boomstick. In tier 5, fear the boomstick applies a 50% fear chance to any enemy within 5 meters of you every time you pull the trigger. This is literally a panic button you can press 
when enemies get too close to you on scout. The engineer has a few ways to inflict fear. Turret whip on the warthog shotgun is a tier 5 mod that makes the turret shoot a large projectile when you shoot your turret with the shotgun. That projectile has a 100% fear chance within 1.5 meters of where the projectile lands. The stubby SMG has an overclock called turret EM discharge. This overclock makes a small explosion effect around your sentry turret when you shoot it with the stubby. That explosion has a 50% fear chance to enemies within 5 meters of the turret's explosion. With this overclock, all you need to do is put your turret in the opening to a tunnel where enemies are guaranteed to path towards you, wait for them to be on top of the turret, shoot the turret with your SMG, and they'll run back out of the tunnel away from you where your turret can then shoot them while they're under fear. The deep core PGL, the plasma burster grenade, and the proximity mine grenade all apply a 100% fear chance within their respective blast radius. The driller's flamethrower has a mod in tier 4 called it burns, which applies a 13% fear chance to enemies for every single flame particle fired from the flamethrower. By default, the flow rate is 6 particles per second, so for every second of continuous flame, there's 6 dice rolls that happen. Each dice has a 13% chance of going your way and causing fear. The satchel charge has a mod called Big Bang in tier 4. This applies a 100% chance to any enemy within its damage radius, as well as up to 10 meters outside side of that radius. The HE grenade in the driller's kit is similar and applies a 100% fear chance within its blast radius only. But what's extremely underappreciated are the drills. The drills have a base 50% fear chance every time you do any damage with them and the drills hit a ton of times within one second. So you'll easily be able to proc fear on enemies when they're within melee range. The gunner's lead storm minigun has a tier 5 mod called aggressive venting that applies a 1,000% fear chance to any enemy within a 10 meter radius from you when you overheat. This basically means that every enemy is guaranteed to be affected by fear when this happens, except for detonators, oppressors, and dreadnoughts because of their immunity. In tier 5 of the Thunderhead autocannon, suppressive fire applies a 50% fear chance to enemies within 1 meter of each bullet's impact. Sticky grenades apply a 200 150% fear chance to any enemy directly impacted by the blast radius and a 100% fear chance to enemies within the outside of that direct explosion but within the damage radius of the blast. For classes like the scout or driller, you're going to be fairly limited to the builds you can run that can take advantage of fear since they each only have one primary weapon that can inflict fear, although the driller does always have his drills. The engineer and gunner are both great great classes to inflict fear with since both of their primary weapons have options to proc the effect, but at the cost of a much more narrowly focused build, like the gunner's minigun needs to overheat completely and be unusable for a few seconds while it cools down to cause fear. Even with some of the limitations to proc fear, being able to combo it with other status effects for even more lethality is going to lead to some really cool builds coming up on the channel. Specifically, I'm really looking forward to showing off builds for the M1000 Classic, the Flamethrower, the Stubby SMG, and the Thunderhead Autocannon. So regardless of what class you want to play, or whatever class you main, there's a build coming in the next few days to the channel that will show off how powerful fear is for your class, and some builds will combo fear with other statuses to give you some extremely good options for crowd control. If you want to enjoy your games more, subscribe to the channel and comment down below what builds you like like to use the fear status effect in. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram where I post images of all the builds I talk about here on the channel so you can use the builds yourself whenever you want. Share this video with others so they can enjoy their games more and like this video to help me out. Thanks for watching.